You've really found some kids that are really special and you get to know these kids after a while. And uh, But most of them come from the community, well, at least four of them come from this uh, immediate community here from very previously disadvantaged backgrounds. Um, some of them are, are at school still, um, but obviously haven't been able to have, would never have enough money to come on a course like this. And um, so they young guys between the ages of 13 to uh, 18, 19 years old. And uh, this course has been fantastic in that it's given them opportunity that they have never go through quite a nice comprehensive tracking course with them um, with quite a bit of practical stuff. Then uh, after going through quite a bit of classroom stuff, lectures and that, with using PowerPoint presentations, we, we try and get them out into the field quite a bit. We get them onto the range, they learn gun safety, they learn shooting, shooting techniques um, from shotgun to bows to rifles and then they do a lot of shooting. Um, they, we teach them exactly how to aim properly, to even uh, sight properly on the target uh, range. It's day two, it's our first full day um, at Orange Grove Adventures and very exciting. A lot of the lectures are done and now we are on the range for the first time with the young men. And we're starting with the 22s, so we're going to see how we do. Each kid's going to get five rounds to start with, they've had a couple of dry fires, the targets are up and let's see um, how they do and um, I've got a good feeling about my guy Andre over here, I think he's going to be hot, so out of all the instructors, I'm going for the win. Champion! Well, as we come to the end of our first full day, we've spent time on the range. Thanks, Pat, and I see it, everybody. I think uh, a massive congrats to our first time shooters, they're not hunters yet, but uh, with the fantastic shooting on the range, first at 25 yards and now at 70, um, I think each one is ready to go hunting, we're going to try and look for springback, but before we go hunting I think each one can get a knife, we're doing a great job here on the range, gun safety has been excellent, the shooting has been fantastic, so guys well done, we're ready to go hunting, but before we go, a massive congrats and there's a knife for each of you, okay. don't lose right. it. Let's go hunting. Okay, um, we're, we're off the range and we're into the field. Very excited. We have Joe here, a young man from the uh, community of Dockerstadt. And uh, we spotted our first group of springbuck. We're going to try and do a stalk. So, Joe, we're going to see what we can do. Maybe get onto a ram and get ourselves our first animal and our first springbuck. Yeah, but you're here to go? Huh? 
Let's get in there. Well, um, guys, this has been a dream in the making for three years. Launching the school and bringing young men out here from our previously disadvantaged communities. And this is the culmination of many hours, great ideas, a lot of scheming, a lot of people to thank. Um, and to the forefront comes, you know, the guys who made this possible. All the gentlemen and ladies who sponsored these young men, uh, part of the John X Foundation. Thank you so very, very much. Uh, you've made a young man's dream come true. He's ecstatic as you can see. This is something you would never have achieved uh, if it wasn't possible for you. And today is really a remarkable day, not only for him, but I think for John X Safaris, for all of you and for the foundation. Uh, may this be the first of many and may this be a good omen for the rest of the week. We have seven more boys that have to get their first uh, kill and seven more spring buck to get. So exciting times. Hell of a start, very excited. Looking forward to the rest. Well done. <laughs> first spring back down, the man's first back. He just wants to run up and see it already. Yo, Tani Lemplega. Go and believe it. Nyama guys, yes, Tala Yakum Bondin. Congratulations. Prima Nord. Eh? What I found is a very good shot is just where the neck comes down to the chest there. I've seen quite a few buffalo shot there with a 375, um, which is a brilliant caliber and that and it and it's a good shot. Okay, it works really well on the buffalo. <laughs> Sweet dog one. I'm a dog clap, eh?
Dale.